Hi there, this is Materials Lesson 4, Young's Modulus Exam Style Questions. So I've got four questions for you to do. So let's pause and have a go at this one, and then I'll take you through the answers. A three metre length of steel rod is going to be used in the construction of a bridge. The tension in the rod will be 10 kilonewtons, and the rod must extend by no more than one millimetre. Calculate the minimum cross-sectional area required for the rod. Young's Modulus of Steel, 1.9 times 10 to the power of 11 pascals. So for this one, we're going to use Young's modulus. E equals flea. So force times length divided by extension times cross-sectional area. Then we simply need to rearrange just to get area. So area would be force times length divided by extension times Young's modulus. So let's put some numbers in. So the force is 10 kilonewtons, so 10,000. Multiplied by the length, which is 3 metres. Divided by extension, 1 millimetre, 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Multiplied by Young's modulus, 1.9 times 10 to the 11. And that gives us 157.89 times 10 to the minus 6 square metres, which is rounded to... 1.6 times 10 to the minus 4 square metres. Hope that went okay. Let's have a look at the next one. So let's pause and do this one. A metal wire of original length 2 metres, cross-sectional area 0.5 millimetres squared, extends by 3 millimetres when stretched by a tensile force of 300 newtons. Calculate the strain. So the strain, epsilon, is equal to the change in length divided by the original length. You can use E for extension if you wish. So the extension is 3 millimetres, 3 times 10 to the minus 3. Divided by the length, 2 metres. So that gives a strain of 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 3. And that's it. And if you want to put that as a percentage, which you typically really wouldn't, but that would just be 0.15%, just times by 100. So let's do the next bit, the stress. So stress is tensile force divided by cross-sectional area. So the force is 300 newtons divided by the area. So let's look at this one. 0.5 millimetres squared. So what I would do is 0.5 millimetres, just pretend it's millimetres, and then square it. So do that again. Eventually you'll get the hang of doing that. So that would just be 0.5 times 10 to the minus 6. We just need to add these. So 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 6. And then calculate this bit, the 300 divided by 0 0.5 to the minus 6. Gives a stress of 600 megapascals. And then finally, let's get the Young's modulus. So the Young's modulus is simply stress over strain. So we calculate these, so we've got 600 times 10 to the 6 for the stress, and the strain is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3, which gives a Young's modulus of 4 times 10 to the power of 11 pascals, which we can write as 400 gigapascals if we wanted to. So hopefully that's okay. Let's do question 3. So let's pause and have a go. A sample of wire has a Young's modulus E. A second sample of wire made from an, an identical material has three times the length and half the diameter of the first sample. What is the Young's modulus of the second sample of wire in terms of the original Young's modulus? So what you might have done is something like this. You might have written Young's modulus is E equals flea. And then gone three times the length, half the diameter, 
So that'll be three times the length. Half the diameter, which will be half the radius. So area is pi r square. And if you've halved the radius or diameter, you get a quarter of the area. So a quarter of the area. And then it's simply three divided by a quarter. So how many quarters go into three? Would be 12. So you might have got an answer of 12e. Which is completely wrong. Because Young's modulus is material dependent. So if it's an identical material, then the second sample has Young's modulus E. It's the same. Hopefully that didn't catch you out. Let's try one more, the final one. So let's pause and have a go. A steel wire has a cross-sectional area, 0.5 mm squared. The Young's modulus of steel is 2 times 10 to the 11 pascals. Assume the wire obeys Hooke's law. What load must be suspended from the wire to produce an extension, which is 0.2% of the original length? So let's see if we got this one right. So we're going to do... Well, we've got Young's modulus is stress over strain. And we've got the strain already. The strain, which is given, is 0.2%. So the 0.2%, we need to divide that by 100. And that will give us the strain. Which is 2 times 10 to the minus 3. So what we can do is find the stress by doing Young's modulus times the strain. So Young's modulus is 2 times 10 to the 11. Multiplied by the strain, 2 times 10 to the minus 3. And that gives us a stress, which is equal to 400 megapascals. So now I've got that information. We can finish this off and find the force. So stress is force over area. So force would simply be stress times cross-sectional area. The stress, which we just calculated, is 400 times 10 to the 6. And then we need to get the area from the 0 0.5 millimeter squared. So remember... If you're still not confident with these, it will be 0 0.5 millimetres, so times 10 to the minus 3. And then squared just means do that again. So that's 0 0.5. We need to add these indices. So 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 6. So I'll multiply 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 6. And that gives us a force which is equal to 200 newtons. Hopefully you found those practice questions okay. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon.